it's hard to miss from the QEW, the three masts of what many call the pirate ship peek from behind the trees along the shore of Lake Ontario. I think it's cool. It's special. But after years of sitting in the water, a Coast Guard assessment in March determined the abandoned ship, Le Grand Hermain, posed a significant level of danger to the environment and the public. The three upright masts and the remnants of a fourth need to be removed, and three access points to the deck must be covered over with steel plates. Fisheries and Oceans Canada put out a request for bids to do the work this week. It's going to look very strange. You can see it from the highway, so without it, it, I don't know. I think it would just look weird. When they cut it down, I don't think it'll look so much as a pirate ship. The boat is a replica of one of the three ships used by Jacques Cartier to explore the St. Lawrence River back in 1535. It's been a notable tourist attraction and a favorite for photographers here at Jordan Harbor for years. The history of Le Grand Hermain is a bit sketchy. The government says it was built in 1965, but others say it was built in 1914 and was a ferry in Quebec before becoming a cargo ship and then a floating restaurant. It used to be covered in wood to look like what's called a carrick, the type of boat used by Cartier. Some locals say it was brought here by a businessman who intended to turn it into a restaurant again, but he died before that could happen. And then in 2003, somebody set it on fire. We asked the feds for the boat's complete history and are waiting to hear back. I think a, a boy, a guy was driving it and then it crashed right into shore. Whatever the case, the rusting hulk gets a lot of attention. This Michigan family couldn't help stopping for a look. I don't think we've ever seen anything like this anywhere else. And it was a very exciting experience. We got to see it up close and we got to take some pictures. I too felt the impulse to immortalize my first visit to the pirate ship, snapping a few shots before I left. Matt Ingram, CHCH News, Jordan Harbor.